welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while, I'm terribly sorry. I thought I'd come back to you today with another baking video. I'm modeling, in fact, this new apron from Ollie. But yeah, I absolutely love it. As you saw, it's got this gorgeous pleating, it's covered in bumblebees, and you know what's so amazing? It matches perfectly this tote bag that Phoebe got me for my birthday, which is also grey with bumblebees on. So what a coincidence. And Phoebe's is amazing because they donate money from the bag to a bumblebee foundation. She also got me this gorgeous ring. So thanks Phoebe, if you're watching. Anyway, today is terribly exciting because I received an amazing present for my 21st that I absolutely was not expecting. I'll play you the clip after this if you get it and you'll see. There were tears, there was shock, there was excitement. It was completely unexpected. And I'm going to reveal her to you now. She's called Mary, and it is an absolute pleasure to introduce her to the channel. Are you ready? Ta da! So, this is Mary, the KitchenAid. She's the KitchenAid Mini because, very cleverly, my parents thought, you know, I'm likely to be renting the properties in the future that may not be huge, and so we don't want to take up tons of counter space. I named her Mary after my icon, oops, Mary Berry. This is in fact a book I got from my Nana for my 21st and she wrote a lovely message in it all about how we used to bake together when I was younger. So I feel like this is just going to become a real baking bible for me. So we'll just pop Mary there because I'm referencing one of her bakes today. And I'm just so grateful and I'm so excited to use her. She'll be coming back down to London with me when I move back down after all this is over. So I thought today we'd test her out for the first time. So I'm going to stick to a really simple recipe, just a good old Victoria sponge, because I want to sort of get to know how she works, you know, which attachments to use. I think this is the right one today. So I put on the flat beater, but just in case I've got the balloon whisk ready, but it does recommend for most normal cakes um, to use this beater, so that's terribly exciting. Let me just pop her back down. So this is the first time I'm using her, as I keep saying, and I'm just so excited because I never even expected a gift like this at all. My family made my whole birthday so incredibly special, but today it's all about Mary. So, let's get going. I knew in a previous video I said I liked weighing things out on camera because it was quite authentic, but because today the star of the show is Mary, um, I weighed it all out so we can really just focus on her today. So I've lined my tin already, you'll have seen how I did that in my coffee and walnut cake video. So I've weighed out my three eggs and they come to 180 grams, which means I need 180 grams of all my other ingredients. So let's begin. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. So I just need to check, yeah, that's in. Got my manual and it says I should start on speed two, increasing to speed six. Let's add 180 grams of sugar. Oh my gosh. In that goes. And I'll just grab the butter out of the fridge. So let me turn it on at the wall. So I lower the lever. And oh my gosh, guys, my heart's racing. You don't understand what a big moment this is for me. Like, I've honestly wanted a KitchenAid for so long. So I guess I just. motion to it. Working excellently, I must say. Ah, it's got a really good motion, that means it doesn't leave too much on the sides. Oh, that has come to a beautiful, a beautiful rattle, and then I'm just going to increase it ever so slightly. Perfect. So, Oh, that has so quickly come to a lovely smooth batter. I'm just going to scrape it all down. Wow! So that was Mary's first use, and I'm thrilled. It 
worked so quickly. Let me just show you. So quickly to bring everything together in a lovely smooth batter. There you go. So it, you put it in and then you sort of, and I can just feel that it stops and then I, I can't lift it out again. Wow. So you'll notice I've got a new guest with me. Hi, Sophia. Hello. And <laughs> Sophia actually bought me a new cake tin, which I'm going to take back down to London with me. And she painted me the most amazing picture, made it all herself. She's so creative for my birthday. And apparently you were involved a lot in a lot of the planning, weren't you? Doing so, Sophia is going to crack the eggs into a bowl for me, please. That, that one was quite big. That was a lovely okay. crack, wasn't yeah. it? No shell in there. And Guys, I can't get over how quickly Mary mixed that for me. Thanks, Mary. Pop them in. So let's add the flour. Again, 180 grams. Oh my gosh, I genuinely feel like I'm on Bake Off. There we go. That's so cool. So she's on and she's mixing. See how she brings it together so nicely. So quickly, and it doesn't. So I'm just going to stop that for a minute to do a little spatula. This as well, this attachment, it's ceramic, so it's super sturdy and also this one's stainless steel. Let's just spatula all of that down into the middle. Here we are. And we're just going to turn it up a little bit this time to really get some air into it and hopefully get a lovely rise. So oh, that is beautiful. Let's just notch it up one more. So, just like that, it's all mixed. That is a lovely looking batter. It's beautifully mixed together, so light and fluffy. I can't get over as well as I keep saying how quickly it mixed all of that together. I should have said at the start, I went for just one camera angle on this one because as I keep saying, I know I probably sound like some sort of I'm basically, I'm a crazy cat lady, but for baking and for my KitchenAid. Um, as I keep saying, this is about Mary, so you all know how to make a Victoria Sponge recipe. Of course, I'll pop the uh, instructions or the method in the description box. But you know, this is really about testing Mary out, seeing how she works, how she, you know, made my cake. And I'm hoping, given how lovely this batter looks, that it's going to be an excellent cake. So here's my tin, nicely lined as I said at the start. So I do my little twist, bam. That reminds me, then I'll be watching the new series of um, Drag Race All Stars. And Alexis Mateo is back. Bam. Uh, let's just spoon this mixture into the tin. Oh, what a beautiful, silky mixture we've got here. I hope that this produces an excellent, excellent sponge. And it was so much quicker and so much less messy. Oh guys, I'm so happy right now with Mary. It's such a dream come true. Oh my word. I felt so spoiled on my birthday. Like my family thought of everything. So as I said, we had all the flowers and it's kind of vintage themed. They built this giant teepee with sort of 10 foot long um, logs. So many cakes. My mum had ordered a birthday cake from my favourite um, tea house in Nottingham. Well, it's actually in Bridgeford called Tiffin and their batter bag is my favourite one ever. So my cake batter is all in my tin, it's time to pop this into the oven. My oven has been preheating at 160 and this I reckon will take sort of 40 to 45 minutes to bake. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Mary in action for the first time. Time to pop this in the oven. I'm just open this, I'm popping it on the middle shelf and I'm going to set a timer for 40 minutes. See you in a bit guys, bye! Hello guys, welcome back. Um, well, actually no time in the past few, it's not like you've gone and waited for three hours or it's not been that long actually. Anyway, we're back, Mary's back. So I've decided I'm going to make a um, buttercream icing for the top and put jam in the middle of this cake. So I'm actually going to be making a half quantity of butter icing today. I hope it'll be enough. I think it will be. Um, I'm actually using a recipe from the Primrose Bakery cookbook today. So again, I'm using the flat beater. It advises that this is really good for buttercream icing. So firstly, we're going to pop in 55 grams of butter. 
Next up, I'm going to add 30 millilitres of milk. There it goes. Now, you're meant to use um, half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I've literally got that much left. We keep trying to order and get hold of it in the supermarkets, but um, it's a real struggle to get hold of at the minute for some reason. It's an odd thing to be out of stock. So we'll just chuck all that in and hope it gives a little bit of flavour. And lastly, I'm going to add in the icing sugar. I'm just going to start by adding in half the icing sugar or a little bit to begin with. Oh, and I need to turn it on at the wall. Oh, there we are. And let's go. So just slowly starting to bring together the butter, the milk, the icing sugar and the vanilla essence. And it's definitely a good idea to add a little bit at a time. I'm going to add more icing sugar in as it goes with a spoon. Actually, you know what I will say? It's not created a huge cloud of dust like I would normally expect when you mix buttercream icing. So that's really great. I'm just going to add the last little bit in. So that's nearly all combined together already, in fact. It's done a really speedy, good job. It looks a good consistency. Good for spreading. While that's just finishing off, I'm going to pop my cake onto my plate. So here's my two halves. I'm going to take the bottom part of the cake onto my plate. And we're going to use some raspberry jam for the filling today. The icing's done. This is all going so quickly doing it this way. Usually that with a hand mixer takes ages. So let's fill the cake with some jam. Dumping a little bit on to start and just spreading it over the cake. So the jam is lovely and evenly spread. I'm just going to pop the top part of the cake on now. Looks good. So my favourite way to do ice cake is using a palette knife. This one is a brilliant one. It's got a good amount, a bit of flexibility to it, lovely rounded top, and I just find that this is the best way to sort of smooth the icing over the cake. So I'm just going to grab my palette knife, put the butter icing on, and start to spread it over the top. This is lovely butter icing, I must say. So I've covered the top of my cake, it's looking lovely, if I do say so myself. So I've decided to leave the sides exposed actually in this case, just because I'm really liking the look of how this jam is. As I say, there is some left, so I will be freezing that or saving it for another bake. But I hope you enjoyed seeing me bake this cake, and I hope you enjoyed seeing Mary in use for the first time. I'm absolutely thrilled with her, like genuinely guys, I don't think you understand, well maybe do because I sound crazy. I am just so excited to now have a KitchenAid to bake with and it's been terribly exciting trying her out today and we've come up with a lovely cake. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'm sure I'll be doing more baking videos soon with Mary and I haven't vlogged in a while so maybe I'll start doing that again. If you did enjoy, give it a little thumbs up and I'll see you again soon, bye! Hi guys, I'm back. I know I said goodbye and you thought you've got rid of me, but we're here again to capture the momentous moment of me cutting the cake. We've got the lovely teapot and tea cup and saucer ready for afternoon tea. Not that I drink tea, but we're going to cut the cake now. So, um, oh, the knife sinks beautifully through the sponge. Wow, look at that beautiful slice of sponge cake. Let's pop that on a little plate. Here we are. And there we go, a little sneak peek into the cake. All right, I'm going for real this time, guys. Bye.